and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to be doing quick wood magnets and I love quick wood. I use it a lot. I've done a lot of videos with it. It's a really fun pro uh, product to use. It is actually wood putty but we're going to treat it just like clay. Now the first thing we want to do when we're using our quick wood is to remove all of our jewelry. Quick wood we have 20 minutes workable time it's rock hard in an hour and that includes your jewelry even though there's something like this where they don't catch I find that it's up in inside of my jewelry so you want to remove all of your jewelry make sure that you have that off you also can open this up follow any of the instructions in there as well so I find it hard to put it back in with that so I take mine out once I'm done and this is one of the far, funnest parts is sometimes getting it back out. Wood putty is two parts epoxy and there are your two parts. So it's um, real important that we keep it all nice and tight when it's not in use and put that little um, plastic silver covering back on to protect it. But the first thing we're going to do is spray our hands with our vegetable spray so it doesn't stick to our hands and we're going to use our scissors and we are going to cut a piece of this off and I'm going to use um, different these are actually ice cube trays and you find these in the stores and they're usually around a dollar and I keep thinking what could I do with these because they're such neat shapes and I love molds and different things like that so think of them as using them for molds. this one's really nice and flexible which makes it a really good one and especially for summertime you could use this one for 4th of July I've got flowers I've got all kinds of different shapes and everything you also could use I can grab them here your different holiday ones and these are actually flatter they're not as deep which I like that but they're also not quite as easy to pop out because they're not bendable plastic but you could use those as well these are candy molds so there's all types of different candy molds that you could use now the one thing I do like if you were doing a set of magnets and you wanted 10 magnets you can do them all at one time you don't have to pop them out and keep doing them so that's really nice that's one thing that I really like about it and now this one is our fun summertime um, fish and ocean which I really think is cute they are a little bit deeper so it's going to take a little bit more um, quick wood in them so we're going to take which ones we want to use and we're going to spray them as well and I'm going to use my finger to make sure that those are up completely all the way around on those to make sure that they don't stick in there I'm just going to do a couple I probably won't do that many today and now we've got those sprayed we're going to come over and we're going to cut our quick wood and it's real important to remember that there is a plastic piece on the outside you do not want to remove it until you are ready to use it so it doesn't dry out but I have a lot of people when I'm teaching classes with a quick wood that forget and just put the plastic right in especially if you're cutting small pieces now as you can see I am kneading the quick wood and that actually activates it and we still got some marbleized colors in it so we need it until it is no longer marbleized and I'm picking out a couple of just harder pieces that were on the very end that didn't get covered up and it's supposed to have a shelf life of two years I know people have told me that they've had theirs for 15 years and if it starts to look a little bit crumbly you can dip your fingers in just a thing of water and just what's on your fingertips come back and knead it again and you will get rid of that little bit of chalkiness you don't want to really add water to it you just want to do 
that little. So I'm going to take this and put it into my mold. And like I said, these, these have a lot more. And you could even, and I'm not going to do, I'm going to do this. I'm going to push these down and I'm not going to make them all the way to the top because these are so deep. See if I can flatten them off enough because these take up so much of the quick wood. We're just going to kind of flatten them down. If it was all the way to the edge, you want to rub it off. You don't want any above that very top. And I've got mine on one side more than the other, so I'm trying to scoot it around a little bit. Trying to flatten it out. And the smaller ones would be less than, like I said, also the candy, candy molds because they're nice and flat would work really well. So I'm going to do another one here. Now this guy shouldn't have any crispy ends in him. This does have a very distinctive smell to it, which is not one of my favorite smells. But I love working with the quick wood because I can be finished and done and move on to the next project. And I guess I could have done all of these in one thing instead of trying to do three separate ones. But that shape was a little bit easier. But that's okay, it doesn't matter. And each holiday has the different ice cube trays. If you look in the dollar sections a lot of times at Target or Walmart or any of your Dollar Trees, things like that, you'll find them. So look for different ones to do for the seasons. And you'll have all kinds of fun things. And I also wanted to do one with the candy molds as well. It's really important that you get this kneaded well. If you don't get this kneaded well, it will not harden and you will wonder what you did wrong because it will never get hardened. Make sure you don't have any cracks or creases in the part that you're sticking down towards the bottom that would show up. You want to make sure those are completely out and Get that one as flat as I can. I wanted to do a candy mold here and we'll do this little flower. And he shouldn't take very much at all. As you can see how much we were using. And even if you had a tube and you used it for eight dollars, excuse me, eight of your magnets that still be cheaper than buying a set and you can make really nice gifts for friends and family and for the holiday season and everything as well so keep keep that in mind okay Now remember how I said we don't want that above the top, so you would kind of just pull it off. You don't want any to stick out because you would be, so scoot those edges back. I'm going to pull a little bit more off of it and put that onto the other molds so that that's nice and flat and none run past the edges because if you have them above the edges that would show up when we're done here. All right, so we're gonna add this other little piece to this guy over here. Now, while these guys are still setting, I'm gonna remove the oil 
especially where I'm going to put my magnet. And I'm going to use the heavy duty magnets because these are going to be a little bit heavier. They're not real nice, nice and light, they're a little bit heavier. And you can get them from the craft store or Walmart or different places like that. Now these actually have a cell, a, a, an adhesive background to them, a stickable background. But we're not going to use just that because chances are that wouldn't hold it as good. Kind of shift the stuff around here. So we're going to glue this on with our E6000. If you take your E6000 after you're done using it and wipe it off with wax paper, it removes the glue and it helps the lid from getting glued on like that. One of the reasons it gets glued on like that is especially on a new tube like this, it's coming out so fast that you can't get the lid on fast enough because it keeps coming out. So we're going to take our E6000 and we're going to put it on our magnets and push them in just a little bit. Now E6000 is the superior glue. It will glue rocks to rocks, stones to stones, glass, all that hard stuff that you're normally your glues won't glue. So I use it a lot. If you watch my videos and classes and everything like that, you'll notice that I And our last little guy here. Okay. Now, I would, if you were going to paint these with acrylic paint or anything like that, you could just leave them and let them dry right now and not worrying about getting them out. But I'm going to go ahead and color these. So we're going to go ahead and flip them out and we're going to keep working on them. Hopefully we can flip these out. Now these are a little bit deeper, so they're a little bit tougher to do. And the reason I wanted to go ahead and work on them is because they are still wet and I can go ahead and add my embossing powder to them. And I should have let these set up a little bit more. But we're going to go ahead and keep on working. It's just when they're, give them about 15 minutes so that they have more stability and they're starting to harden a little bit. Now these guys is a little bit tougher. We may leave him for a little bit longer here because he, we can't push on him how we said he's a little bit harder to use. Okay, so on these guys, what we're going to go ahead and start doing, I'm going to shake them and just put them back in. If you don't like the way they turned out, put them back in. Push them down a little bit more. Pop them back out. If you don't like the way it turns out with a quick wood, if it hasn't set up, you can redo it. Okay. Like I said, I would probably leave them in about 15 minutes. So we still have the also the um, vegetable spray on, which is also going to help us with the embossing powder. And we're just going to color them with the embossing powder. Um, like I said, you could use the metallic, or excuse me, the acrylic paints, and that's just fine. But I'm a person that I like, I don't like to paint on them. I don't know why. And this is so much easier to me. And all these are our embossing powders, or pigment powders, and you can find them at your, at your craft store. If you're having problems finding them, Blue Whale Arts has a great selection and I am using an old mop brush 
and any old brush works fine and I go from my pigment powder to my lid because if you go straight there you have way too much powder and I am coloring these straight with the pigment powder. I'm only using the pigment powder and I like like the kind of light pastel colors for this. I think it really looks neat. So we've got our first little guy done. And I'm gonna do the blue on the little starfish here. I probably would recommend having a wet piece of wax paper underneath these as well. Make sure you get that color all the way around the edges and everything. And if it's still wiggling and everything, don't push too hard because you don't want to take the shape out of what you're working on. And do the pink one. Show here. But I really, really like using the bossing powders with the quick wood. I probably have said that ten times now, but it's, it's so easy to do. Now, I don't heat these up, I just varnish these after I'm done. I have noticed when I have heated them up, it will change the colors of some of the different pigments, make them brighter and stuff. So if you want to try that after the quick wood is dry, you can do that before you varnish it as well. Now, I always like to add reflective light. So we're gonna add some reflective light. On this guy, I'm going to put some white on him, kind of right down the middle of him. And I know I can't stand him up for you to look at, and I apologize. We'll try and get some overhead shots for you. So we got some reflective light on him, and I'm going to use some gold on this other one. Just kind of where you think it needs to be. That really added a lot to him. Got out the color. And I can't decide if this guy over here needs white or what kind of reflective light he needs. So we'll add some white. guy just a tad. Just so that gold's not quite as visible. Okay. Let's see if we can get this guy out of our mold yet. There he's coming. ahead and do this little flower now. Let's make this little guy blue.
And if it dried, you could also put a little bit of vegetable oil back onto it. It would help hold the pigment powder. Then you could go ahead and color it. Give him some highlights. I'm trying to get some yellow in the middle of him or center. I do have some jewelry, some feather. I'll try and do the white um, leaves that I've made, our feathers that I've done, some jewelry and some flower jewelry as well. Check that out. There's a video on those. They're literally fun. But you could even come back in here and highlight and put center flowers or anything with acrylic paints. But this is just a really fast, I mean, we've only spent, you know, probably 10 or 15 minutes on this already, and we have a little nice set of four of our um, magnets. So, like I said, use it for the different holidays and kind of play with it. And just have fun and just take what I've given you and think outside the box on that. So, if you want to purchase some of the quick wood, please visit my website at miriamjoy.com. There's also a contact button on there. You can reach me if you have any questions about anything we've done as well as a link to more of these fun YouTube videos. Thank you for joining me today. God bless.